you can do something about clutter. A lot of people are actually quite discouraged the moment they realize that a lot of their frustrations can be traced to the fact that they have too much clutter. Whether it's physical, mental, emotional, psychological, clutter tends to get the better of us. It happens even to the very best of us. At some point in time, you just run into that wall. In fact, a lot of people are aware that they just have too many things going on. Either they are dealing with stuff from the past, or they are confronted with challenges today. This often translates into unreasonable worries and fears regarding what's about to happen. In other words, they're worried sick. Most people can understand the impact of clutter. In fact, they don't need other people to tell them that that's what's going on. The good news is, is that you can do something about it. This is where a lot of people get pretty weird. Believe it or not, a lot of individuals get so used to their personal clutter that thinking of life without such mental obstacles and assumed realities seems downright foreign or even alien to them. A lot of people would dismiss decluttering talk as empty theory. They think people are speculating. They readily dismiss such ideas as flat-out impractical. I've got great news for you. This is not theoretical. This is not just people bouncing ideas together and wondering what could be. This is real. How come? You can actually get measurable results. You can actually see the impact of decluttering. And the best part of all of this is that you take the lead. It's you calling the shots. Why do you need to do this? Even if you were able to talk people into accepting the possibility that they can get rid of their clutter, interestingly enough, the next question they would ask you is, why even do it? I know this sounds strange. After all, a lot of people understand that the reason they're suffering, struggling, and not exactly living their lives to their fullest potential is because of clutter. They would almost instantly ask, why should I do this? What's in it for me? You might be tempted to blurt out, isn't it obvious? Well, to spell it out, decluttering enables you to become a more effective person. I don't mean this to sound basic and utilitarian, but that's really what it boils down to. If you're worried sick, anxious all the time, fearful of the past or suffering a wide range of other issues, you're not all that effective. This gets in the way of your contentment. Your relationships tend to suffer. Sooner or later, this lingering discontent that you feel, which boils up to the surface in different forms, simply gets the better of you. All your focus is diffused, and you end up spreading yourself too thin. When you learn to effectively declutter, you become a more contented person, and this enables you to focus on what truly is important. Ultimately, this leads to a life of freedom. People who are worried all the time are not enjoying their freedom. They're not. They're walking around trapped in invisible mental prisons. Either you're all caught up about the past or you're worried sick about what will happen. It all leads to the same place. You have a tremendous amount of potential. You can do so many things. You can change your reality based on what you want it to be, yet you choose to stay where you are. You choose to box yourself in. And it's not like somebody is standing over you with a big gun pointed at your head. You're doing this to yourself. You're cheating yourself of a life of freedom possibility, and a sense of adventure. In this video, I'm going to give you just an overview of the seven steps you need to follow to become clear of all the forms of mental clutter you are struggling with. Please understand that this is not a race. The objective here is not to skip from step to step until you get to the end. Believe me, if you get there too quickly, you're doing something wrong. You should instead dwell on each step until you master it. You stay at each step until it becomes easy. In fact, you should stay long enough until it becomes almost second nature to you. Then, and only then, should you move on to the next step. Here is your seven-step plan for a less cluttered life. Step one, get clear. Step two, start with what you can see. Step three, get rid of emotional clutter. Step four, get rid of psychological clutter. Step five, get rid of career clutter. Step six, enjoy more with less. Step 7. Learn the Art of Contentment These seven steps are not set in stone. Everybody is different. We all come from different backgrounds. We all have different experiences. When you go through these steps, customize them to your set of circumstances. I don't want you to think for even a moment that these seven steps are some sort of magical, mystical formula for a perfect life. Now, that's not the impression that I want you to walk away with. Instead, this is a framework, and just like any framework, you have to tweak, 
modify, and change them to fit the reality that you are dealing with. Everybody is different. Everybody looks at the world from different perspectives. Everybody has different ghosts and demons and skeletons in their closets. Accordingly, these steps need to be remodeled, tweaked a little, and adjusted to fit your circumstances so they produce results for you. Again, this is not some sort of magic bullet, cookie cutter, one size fits all solution. I'm sorry to be the one to say this to you, but no such solution exists. Instead, this is a framework that requires your active participation to customize and tailor fit it to your particular personal reality. I hope that's clear. Let's jump into video three. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.